what's up folks, welcome to Mothman Jones Movie Reviews, I'm your host John Maffio, and today's featured movie is the latest Jack Ryan movie, which is based on a series from Tom Clancy Books, Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. This film stars Chris Pine, Kevin Cosner, and the lovely Kira Knightley. The plot centers around a terrorist attack that is forming in Russia, where they are planning to destroy the US stock market and then proceed with an attack, and it's up to Jack Ryan who is a COVID CIA agent, Chris Pine's character, Jack Ryan, to stop them. This espionage spy flick thriller is one of those movies that I was very nervous and contemplative about. I was apprehensive because it was supposed to come out last year and it got dumped into this month where movies are usually dumped here to die. And Jack Ryan's a pretty established franchise. People love it for the most part. It's got, it had Harrison Ford in the past and now it's got Chris Pine. It's got, it has a good cast. And Kenneth Branagh, who was a competent director, directed it. And he actually, surprisingly, thankfully made a really solid thriller that I really highly enjoyed. If you don't mind, I'd like to get the poop out of the way first with this movie. The poop concerns the acting and the plot. Um, they're not terrible, but they're the weakest aspects of the movie because these roles could have been played by anybody for the most part. Kevin Costner's character, Keira Knightley's character... Kenneth Branagh is probably the strongest actor in this movie, and then Chris Pine holds his own as Jack Ryan, but the character still could have been played by a lot of other charismatic and really good actors. And what I mean by the story being poopy sometimes is that it gets convoluted, it's a little boring at times, and for some people who aren't into the actual movie, it might deter from their experience. But I thought the story was actually kind of compelling and thrilling for what it was, and I'll get into that right now. What I was expecting to be a very bland and safe ride was actually a compelling one and very fun to watch, which is probably thanks to Kenneth Branagh's directorial work here. And to his credit, he got to play the most memorable character, I would say, in the movie, because his character, he's a villain. He's not particularly memorable as a villain, but the actions that he takes as the villain are memorable, I would think. Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit is less than two hours, believe it or not, and it never really takes its time with the story, it's always progressing, and it starts off with some backstory for Jack Ryan. Not to spoil the story in any way, but I think I inadvertently became resonant with the plot from the very get-go. For reasons that you'll have to find out on your own, sorry I don't spoil in my reviews, the movie takes place in Manhattan, and it involves real-life events that occurred a little over a decade ago, and that should basically point out what I'm talking about. And you, you might say it's a tacked on plot reference, but I thought it was a good way to get people engaged into the plot. The action is also choreographed pretty good, and it's well shot too. Even though it does feel like a little bit of a born ripoff or movies that you've seen before, it's still a lot of fun to watch, and it's not irritating or agitating as other movies that try to be born seem to be. I can't lie, I was clenching my fist towards the end when the climax was on because it was actually a really good sequence of action that was, it was gripping. I genuinely and honestly did not expect Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit to be a good fun movie, but it was actually more than that to me. It had decent acting and it had a pretty decent plot, but everything else, the elements and components around that were very, very good and it made the movie a great experience. Definitely the best movie of 2014 so far. And I actually almost loved it. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's a solid movie. And it's also a darn good Applebee's meal. Mm-mm-mm. If you've seen Jack Ryan, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. Did you like it or not? Please subscribe to my channel, Mothman Jones, and like the video so you'll never miss a review or video from me again. And check out my Facebook, my Twitter, and my We Live Film accounts down there. I'm John Maffio, a.k.a. Mothman Jones, and that's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> Jim Carrey, Bruce Almighty, yeah, I kind of stole that line. Who cares? <laughs>